In the SEMCA project, we're investigating CO2 emissions reduction from the cement industry. Because in the cement industry, CO2 generation is part of the core process when you convert calcium carbonate to calcium oxide. So energy efficiency reductions or switching to renewable energy can only remove a part of the emissions. But to, in order to achieve really deep emission cuts from cement production, CO2 capture is a necessary measure. Cement plants are different and there is no one size fits all CO2 capture technology. And furthermore, most cement plants have already been built, but very few are likely to be built in the future. So we have to investigate retrofit of CO2 capture technology and we have to investigate different CO2 capture technologies to find out what is suitable for what kind of plant. In this film you will see first how cement is produced and then how the oxyfuel clinker cooler tests were performed in the cell cap project. Cement manufacturing is a complex production process whose stages are closely monitored by an operator in a central control room. The main starting materials for producing Portland cement clinker are limestone, clay and marl. These primary raw materials are generally extracted in a quarry, crushed and transported to the plant. Grinding of raw materials is the next stage. Raw materials are simultaneously dried and grinded together with other correction materials in a raw mill in order to produce the so-called raw meal. After its homogenization, the raw meal is heated in a preheater to approximately 900 degrees C. From approximately 800 degrees C, calcination reaction takes place limestone begins to break down into calcium oxide and CO2 is released. The material is then transferred to the rotary kiln, where it reaches temperatures of approximately 1450 degrees C and clinker minerals are formed by the sintering process. The resulting clinker granules exit the kiln and fall onto the grate of the clinker cooler, where they are cooled down to temperatures around 100 degrees C. Clinker is then ground together with some other cement constituents in roller mills or ball mills in accordance to the type of cement required. When ready to be sold, the finished cement is transferred directly from the cement silos into bulk tanker lorries or packed and dispatched. For testing of the oxyfuel clinker cooler in the SEMCAP project, a recirculating cooler design was chosen. The oxyfuel cooler prototype is aerated with a CO2-rich gas to simulate the operating environment of a fuel oxyfuel cement plant. The gas is fully recirculated to keep the need for CO2 from gas bundles low. The pilot system consists of a hot clinker extraction tube, an oxyfuel pilot cooler, a CO2 gas filling station, and other auxiliary equipment for de-dusting and cooling recirculated gases as well as clinker conveying. A fundamental challenge is stable and continuous extraction of hot clinker from the running kiln to the oxyfuel prototype. This is solved with a revolving refractory lined pipe that traps a small part of the hot clinker falling from the kiln towards the main clinker cooler static grate. As the hot clinker drops onto the static clinker inlet, the hot clinker discharges into the cooler and forms a clinker bed. The grate speed of the cooler can be adjusted to form an optimal bed depth of the bulk clinker in regard to heat transfer inside the cooler. The aerated grate area is approximately 2 square meters, which relates to a cooler design capacity of 80 tons of clinker per day, consisting of 35 grate plates in 11 rows. The grate has 9 rows with 3 grate plates each 
of which three rows are movable plus two additional rows serving as static cooler inlets. The movable rows push the clinker bed to the discharge system. The movable rows are driven by an electromechanical drive which is installed below the grate. Two cooling gas chambers are used to supply the movable grate with cooling gas. The oxyfuel clinker cooler itself is comparably small in contrast to the peripheral equipment. A suitably large cyclone is used for dedusting of the cooler exhaust gas. Furthermore, a gas to air heat exchanger is used to remove heat from the cooler exhaust gas before returned to the oxyfuel cooler prototype. Both processing steps are needed to reprocess the cooling gas for another recirculation cycle. In total, four screw conveyors are used to discharge cooled down clinker from the prototype plant and return the clinker to the plant's main clinker conveying system. Several times per day, a small cover is removed to collect clinker samples for cold clinker temperature measurement and chemical analysis. Process data plays a key role in the performance assessment of any prototype system. Once in operation, total pressure, temperature, volume flow and CO2 rich gas composition are measured continuously at different locations. In addition, manual flow measurement by using Prantl tube is also performed in order to guarantee flow meters accuracy. Clinker mass flow is measured at the cold clinker extraction system by a mass flow probe. And cold clinker samples are taken regularly to be chemically and mineralogically analyzed in VDSET's laboratories. Different CO2 rich gas compositions have been tested through the controlled injection of CO2 supplied in bottles. Handling CO2 demands certain precautions. Mobile as well as static CO2 level measurement equipment has been used as safety measure in order to detect potential CO2 leakages. SEMCAP project is a wonderful opportunity for VDZ as dedicated cement research institute to contribute to the research and development of innovative technological solutions able to face CO2 reduction targets. SEMCAP results will reinforce VDZ's leading role in providing world-class expertise in the field of cement production. As an equipment supplier, IKN expects to get first-hand experience of a potential future technology in regard to design and operation. We managed to extract hot clinker falling from the kiln to the cooler, tightening the recirculation and cooling the clinker CO2-rich atmosphere is taking on an extreme challenge. And IKM, Heidelberg Cement and VDZ, they just went along and did it. Mm -hmm.